welcome to another episode of Out of the Box. But this is a different type of episode. I am not unboxing anything because I didn't get anything that, come, that came in the mail. This time, I just want to show you guys what I picked up doing the San Diego Comic Con convention. Now, I did not go to the San Diego Comic Con convention. Instead, I had to go to the stores out here and find the uh, Funko Pops that were also at that convention. Like, I'm sure most of you guys did also. So I just want to show you guys what I got real quick. The first place I went was Barnes & Noble and they had the Violet Beauregard. Yes, from the Willy Wonka series. Willy Wonka and the, and the Chocolate Factory. Now the reason why I picked this one up because I liked the movie and I thought it was a real cool pop. Because I like the way she swole up in the movie and if you look at the pop she did the same thing like she was floating in the air. This one looks so cool. And then the next one I picked up that was the, let me, let me rephrase. This was the only one I was gonna get at Barnes and Noble because the others I weren't too interested. Like they had the uh, strawberry shortcake scented uh, pop. I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna get it. But then when I went to the checkout, I said, you know what? I haven't, I don't have any of the scented Funko Pops. And this is like one of the first times they do that. So they had the purple pie man and berry bird and I think it's the scent is strawberry, and this is an awesome looking one also. And if you open it up, it's it, it has a real good strawberry pie scent. I mean, it smells it smells real good. And the reason why I'm saying this one is awesome because check out the detail. They did a good job with this one also. They had, he has the pie in his hand, and he also has the little uh, berry bird on the side. Now I never watched the strawberry shortcake cartoon, so I don't know what he's all about, but I did like the way the pop look and I love the way it smelled. So that's why I went ahead and picked this one up. And then I moved on over to uh, Hot Topic. Now Hot Topic, they always do these Deadpool mystery pops and they have Deadpool variants. They got so many Deadpools that it's crazy. I said I'm gonna stop buying these Deadpools, but guess what? I bought another Deadpool. <laughs> I went ahead and bought the uh, white Deadpool. I'm guessing that's what this one's going to be called. And he has his thumbs up and he has the uh, gun or machine gun, whatever, in his hand. I thought this one looked pretty cool because he's in that white outfit. It's different than the other ones that I have. But they have so many of these Deadpools. Guys, y'all got to stop. Y'all going to have as many Deadpools as you'll have Batman Funko Pops. And there's a lot of different variants of Batman Funko Pops. But, sucker like me, I went ahead and picked up that Deadpool 2. Now while I was in there, I went ahead and had to add to the collection because my wife collects these. She, she liked the, um, what you call these from? The Nightmare Before Christmas. And they had the pa pa Pajama Jack. Now this is cool also, I like this one, because the book has a lot of good detail on it. He has the uh, pajama pants and he has that knitted cap on top. It's a very, very looking pop, looking good pop. And a matter of fact, I just went there and this, I think the Comic Con ended like two weeks ago, I can't remember, and it still had a couple of these left. So if you guys looking for this uh, pajama jack, I'm telling you, it looks pretty awesome. Go ahead and pick you one up, add to your collection. So, so far I have these four that I picked up. And then while I was in there, I had to get the Star Wars because we collect the Star Wars uh, Funkos too. And this is the BB-8 when he had the little uh, welding thing or I guess the little torch, whatever you would say, come out the side. Uh, I had to add this one to my collection to add with the other BB-8s. I think BB-8 is real cool. So that's why I picked him up. And also in there, no, that was it. That was all that I picked up. Then my next stop was the GameStop. There was two there that I wanted. And one that I picked up was the other Star Wars that they have for the San Diego Comic-Con convention. And that's the Han Solo. So I had to pick him up to add him to my uh, Star Wars collection and he does look pretty cool. I like the way this one looks. I didn't want to miss out and have to pay Skyper prices later on. 
And then the next one, well, let me, let me rephrase that. I left GameStop because they told me they were out of the one, the other one that I wanted. This was the Saturday I went there, like two days later after they started selling them, and they were out of them. But then one of the managers called me and they said, "Hey, the store, another store in Blue Store that I normally shop at, they have it." And that one there was the Doctor Strange. The Doctor Strange. Now, this is a cool looking pop. I like the way they did this one. I'm going to go ahead and take it out, out of the box so you guys can see. The cape in the back, I like. The cape is even connected to the top of the head. Now, it's a bobblehead, but I love the way they did the detail on the cape and the back of the head and the stance that, is, that he's in. This is a pretty cool looking pop. I really like this one. And it, it's it's kind of heavy too. And then after that, oh wait, there was another one I got from Hot Topic. It's not up here. Let me go ahead and grab him real quick. Just, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I left him on the other side by my other things. Let me go get him real quick, guys. Sorry about that. All right, I got him, guys. This is the other one I picked up from Hot Topic. I almost forgot about that. It's a show that I really like and I was glad to see this one there. And that is Meg the Mighty from Game of Thrones. Check it out, folks. This thing is huge. The box is big. And that's the big giant in Game of Thrones. If you guys ever watch the Game of Thrones, it's a pretty good uh, television show that plays on HBO. But that's Mag the Mighty, folks. I really like this one. From Game of Thrones. All right, and that's what I picked up in the stores. Now, I want to say the Wednesday of San Diego Comic Con, the Funko Shop had put up an exclusive that they had. And I did that unboxing already, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to just go ahead and show it to you guys. Otto. Otto from the uh, Funko. And this was from what I read from my, the comments of my uh, last video. People were telling me this is the original line of Funko that they first came out with. They had one called Slap. Is it Spop Stick Plastics? I guess that's what it's called. Spa Sticks Plastics. Now, if you notice this one, the sticker is different. It looks like the sticker that you, that you would uh, get if you was to pick it up at the convention. The other ones, they have the sticker on it, but it says the 2016 Summer Convention Exclusive. That's because they show a difference between picking it up in the store or picking it up at the convention. All the ones in the store is gonna have the Summer Exclusive stickers on it. The ones <clears throat> that you pick up at the con is gonna have the uh, this sticker on it. The summer uh, convention sticker, which is the limited edition Comic Con convention, two different type of stickers, so they could tell the difference. Oh, one more! God, I am screwing up. All these fun codes, and I had to get the dwarves. I only got one of the dwarves. There were other dwarves out there, but uh, there was the Batman set, and I think that was like thirty something dollars. And then there was the. Uh, Think Wolverine Marvel set that was like twenty some dollars. I didn't pick those up, but I did pick up my first ever Stan Lee dwarves. Now I thought this was pretty cool looking because I don't have a Stan Lee dwarves. I do collect dwarves, so I can add this one to my collection. That's the Stan Lee dwarves. He has his glasses on and he has that little white mustache and that smile on his face. I really thought this one was cool. So now I have the Stan Lee doors to add to my collection too. Now that's it. That's the only ones that I picked up at the uh, San Diego Comic Con convention uh, weekend. So if guys go out there and see, they might have some left. You have to go to game. I know game, I know, uh, not GameStop. I know Hot Topic did have some BB-8s and the uh, uh, Panama, uh, Pajama Jack. I want to say Panama Jack, but it's Pajama Jack ones. So guys, that's it. Until the next review, which probably not gonna do another review. Until, oh, you know what? I will do some reviews. Cause I had people asking me what's in my collection. So what I think I'm gonna do, now that you see my San Diego Comic Con convention for this year, I think I'm gonna start showing my other collections and I'm gonna do it in series. I'm gonna show you, show you guys like all the ones that I have from Hot Topic. 
I'll do one series of that. I'll do my Walmart series, all the ones I got from the Walmart exclusives, Target exclusive, GameStop exclusive, Barnes and Noble exclusive, Toys R Us exclusive. So uh, look for that. I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of videos because I can't show you everything I have in my collection at one time because it's gonna take forever. So I'm gonna kind of break them up into different series so you can see the ones, watch the one that you wanna watch. You don't have to watch them all, which I wish you would so I can get those thumbs up. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. So until the next video, I'll see you guys later.